The next person who has the sheer nerve, the sheer entitled caucasity to say all lives matter, I'm gonna stab you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab you. And while you're struggling and bleeding out, I'm gonna show you my paper cut and say, my cut matters too. I know this is what Trump supporters wanted um, because standing up for Black Lives Matter put me in a, in a place online to be seen by millions of people. The job that I had worked really hard to get and meant a lot to me just called me and fired me because of everything. Um, I don't know if everyone's seen, but it's been circulating a lot. Um, my Black Lives Matter TikToks were picked up by conservatives and spread and shared and people were demanding that I'd be fired, which I, I just got. <laughs> My job that I worked really hard for. <laughs> Even though they claim to stand against systematic bias, racism, and unequal treatment. So to the thousands of Trump supporters sending me hate messages, death threats, and, and violent messages, I'm still not going to stop talking about and defending Black Lives Matter. You can't take away my spirit and my devotion towards human rights. Trump supporters just took my job away from me. <laughs> I've gotten death threats, rape threats, violent threats. It was okay. But now it doesn't make my future. My future is entirely compromised because Trump supporters have decided to come for my life. <laughs> God, this sucks. You guys suck. I'm too strong for you. I'm too strong for any of you. All lives matter. Raises Trump supporters. It sucks, but it doesn't suck as much as systemic racism. And I'm not going to stop using my platform to advocate for it. And I'm sorry, Deloitte, that you can't see that. That you are cowardice enough to fight somebody who's going to make an indelible change in the world and is going to have an impact.